The festival thing once again and 2017 it is happening Haifa after one year of absence. It was an absence but it was a bit. But this year it's back in its biggest form and it's happening right here and we at Hivos. Hivos open lounge and stage with Pauline right now. My sister, my sister, my sister. Looking beautiful as always. Tell us, how is it? How is Haifa 2017 for you so far? Um, Haifa 2017 is a breakthrough. Um, after the absence last year, it gave us a lot of energy. We were saving our energy for this year. So in line with the theme of energy, there's a lot of new acts. Um, people who have not graced the larger stages like myself. I'm quite honored to be here this year. Um, it's my opportunity to share what I've been doing over the years. I have a history where I came from a group where I was the only woman. And I've emerged as pretty much the survivor of that movement. So everywhere I go, I'm carrying a message of sustainable energy because I came from a certain past and I'm projecting forward and taking that energy to the next generation. Uh, what other performances do you have lined up so uh, remaining at the IFO 2017? Uh, well before the end of today I'm going to go back on the Hivo stage and give my best and then I've got another performance Sunday evening which is the last Sunday of Haifa. Um, between 7 and 8 I'll be collaborating with Mira meets Hip Hop. And where will that be? It will be at the Zoom Gold Green. I'm collaborating with MC Cheetah and Bushle. Okay, for my last question, like you said, you're a survivor. And we've seen you, you've been relevant for a decade. Uh, it's more than a decade right now, is it? Yeah. yeah, so for more than a decade, you've been relevant and you're still evolving. What can we do to improve women in the arts in Zimbabwe? Um, I'd like to throw the ball towards women. I think if we establish what we believe in, from the get-go, let's not compromise. I know it seems the easier way to compromise where our physical nature is somewhat on demand in the industry, but if we can be as respectable as we can, I think we will get the respect that we are so much yearning for. Secondly, I'd like to commend and applaud the institutions that are pushing women forward in arts. I'm a product of such a movement. I got a scholarship from Music Crossroads. So we were like a whole bunch of women and they listened to our stories. There were a lot of older women who didn't get a chance to go to school earlier, but were still having that energy to attain something before this lifetime is over. So we're very grateful for scholarships, for workshops, exchange programs. This environment, it's, it's a place where, you know, it's Africa, and it's unfortunate there's still so much stigma about women and arts. So I think if they expose us more, we can bring in knowledge from all over different environments and then teach our audiences what females in music are really all about. We are the mothers. I'm the one who's going to get the mineral water for everyone in the band, make sure everyone is dressed, and then I'm going to deliver on stage. So I want to just say big up to all those organizations that are uplifting us women. And to those young women who have a dream, come through. <laughs> we have an open up here. Yeah.
yeah, come through. Tell us what your dream is, what your passion, and we, as your big sisters, we're gonna push you in the right direction and make sure you're fine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pauline. Thank you for having me. And uh, we're at Pauline right here at the Heavens Open Lounge and Stage, and we're signing out. But we're not signing out to Chaku Indaga. But I'm on next stage, and we're inviting you to a Muzoneere. Remember, on social media, and touch our hashtag Edwishi, hashtag Heavens Life for 17. Come through. <laughs>